Hello everyone. We're going to cook us up some fried chicken. I had such a good time the other day cooking up fried chicken with that house of Autry uh, chicken mix that I thought I'd try it again. But this time we're going to try using this right here. This is Kentucky Colonel seasoned flour. It's good for chicken, chops, beef, seafood, vegetables, and gravies. Look at all that. <laughs> but I'm going to put it on this chicken right here. I think that Kentucky Colonel is going to taste good right there. Now the instructions are on the back. It's not real hard. Much like the House of Autry. Uh, you want to rinse your chicken and put water on there. That gives a uh, hey, water helps to coat that chicken with this flour right here, the seasoned flour. So we put water on the chicken and then we'll coat that chicken down there in that dish with that seasoned flour. It says here we want to fry it in approximately one inch of preheated shortening to 380 to 400 degrees. It doesn't give you no time, but that's okay. We can look at it and tell. And I'm not going to use a shortening. I'm going to use a Crisco oil. I don't have no shortening, but I do have oil. All right. Let's crack open that box right there. Let's get that chicken going. Put some water on our chicken. Okay. Now we take that seasoned mix and we'll put our chicken down in there and we'll get it coated very well. Very well. Yeah, put that put that seasoned flour all over that chicken. Set this off here in a dish off to the side there. We'll grab the next one. Kentucky Colonel. Oh, I can smell them seasonings. They smell good. Set the second one off there. And let's take the third one into our little mixing bowl right here. It's going to be some good chicken right here. I can tell already by the way them seasonings smell. Wonderful. It's very easy to do. It's not hard to fry up chicken. Okay, there's the fourth one. Here's the fifth one. Look at that. We get all these chickens coated in that seasoned flour. We'll go over there and prep the fire pan. Look at that. Oh, that's good. Okay, there we go. I set that one off to the side there. That's gonna taste. <laughs> That's gonna taste good. There we go. There's that Kentucky Colonel. Seasoned flour. Coating those five drumsticks right there. There's five pieces of chicken. Let's go over and prep that fry pan. We'll get that going. After that, we'll get that chicken put down in there. Set that down in there just to 
have a place to put it for a moment or two while we prep that fry pan. Look how good that looks. Alright. Now, we're going to use this Crisco pure vegetable oil down in that fry pan. Let's probably take all of my oil right here. Looks like it will. Yep, there you go. That's all your oil right there. <laughs> I, got, I got more oil in the back. It won't be no problem if we got to cook chicken again. You get all that oil out of there. You don't want to waste none of that. Don't waste none of that oil. There you go. That's Crisco oil. Pure vegetable. Set that off to the side there. We're going to put some fire underneath it here. Get that oil heated up. We'll come back. In about 10 minutes after that oil has started dancing around in that fry pan. When you're working with the fry pan of oil, you need to run your children off. Don't let them get anywhere near this. It's dangerous. And if you got cats, dogs, birds, lizards, an aquarium full of fish you don't let them get anywhere near this you you run them off with your children you tell them to go outside and play while you're cooking this chicken you don't want them to get anywhere near this and another thing I always keep you a lid to put down into that fry pan to douse that flame if it catches fire. That's the best way to put a pan fire out is to douse it with a, a lid. That lid will prevent that oxygen from getting down into that fire. But safety, safety first. We'll come back in a little bit. When that oil's come up to heat and dancing around in that fry pan. Look at that oil dancing around in there. We're ready to put the chicken in there. We go. There's one. Oh yeah. There's two. Okay, don't get your fingers down in there, people. There's three. Oh, I gotta be careful. Don't splash now. Don't splash. There we go. There's the fourth one. Here's number five. Oh yeah. I like to keep them out of the center. The center is where the fire is. You put them along the edges there. That'd be all right. Now we're going to cook them on this one side for about, oh, I don't know, 10, 12 minutes thereabouts. We'll cook them on that one side. Just this goes a little bit. Let me turn that fire down some. That oil's hot enough. Look at that. That's going to be some good chicken right there. Now I see. I see our crow in the backyard's brought a friend. <laughs> Last time I cooked chicken, all I had to do was give one. 
I gotta give two. <laughs> the next time I cook chicken, we'll have three or four crows out there. I won't get a piece. <laughs> well, I might get one. I want that one. That's the one I want. <laughs> and the crows are gonna get the rest. <laughs> Good Lord above. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now, we, we'll let that cook on that one side there for about 10, 12 minutes, then we'll come back and flip them over. <laughs> okay. See you in the Scotia bit. has been cooking on that one side for 12 minutes now. Let's see if we can get it flipped over to the other side there. Move it around a little bit before I do that. Okay, here's my flipping utensils right here. <laughs> Let's not mess this up. Don't get your fingers down in there, people. Okay, I'll try not to. Uh-oh. Oh, yeah. Oh, look how wonderful that looks. That is going to be some good chicken right there. There's another one. Look at that. Oh, yes. Get that one flipped over right there. This one here. It's going to be some good chicken right there. Look at that. Scoop those out of the center of the fry pan so we don't burn them. <laughs> These two right here for the crow. Since that lady crow brought a friend of hers, I <laughs> give up two of them now. <laughs> she, she, she and her friends in the backyard waiting on me. People, you done cooking that chicken yet? <laughs> That's what that crow's saying. <laughs> ain't done yet. Hold on. It takes a little bit of time. <laughs> I, I, so, I got five pieces of chicken here. Now I gotta give two up for the crow. Ah, <laughs> oh, that's so funny. <laughs> Put the utensils down in there. Now we're gonna cook these on this side for uh, for 10, 12 minutes. It looks like 12 minutes is the going rate. So we'll let these go on that side for 12 minutes. <laughs> Look at how wonderful that chicken looks. That's that Kentucky Colonel. Seasoned flour. Shoo-wee! Now we get these chickens cooked here. We'll do us a little of a, uh, cooking of the corn on the cob. That's going to be some good eats, too. Corn on the cob with chicken. You can't beat that. You can't beat that at all. All right. We'll let these cook on this side for about 12 minutes. We'll come back, put them on a plate, and we'll start cooking that corn on the cob. We'll see you in a little bit. All right. Look at that. That chicken's done. I'm going to turn on this overhead light here. We're in the dark. The sun's going down. Let's get that light going. 
Look at that. I'm going to turn the fire off underneath of there. Okay. Let's get these pieces of chicken out of here. We'll be ready to eat. Don't forget. Don't never forget. These two pieces of chicken right here is for the crow in the backyard. You shortcut that crow in the backyard, you'll have some bad luck for many years to come. Look at that. How nice that looks. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. Look how good that looks. That's a good chicken right there. <laughs> That's a good looking chicken right there. Get that moving around in that oil a little bit. Oh yeah. Peace over here, and this one here. Take that one out of there. Take that one right there. It's gonna be some good chicken. fry pan here washed up in, in a scotchy bit. But right now I want you to take a peek at that chicken. That's a good chicken right there. Look at that. Now we got to add a little bit of corn to those chickens. So give me a scotchy bit and we'll uh I'll put some corn with them chickens. Corn on the cob. Right. I give these two pieces of chicken right here to the crows in the backyard though. They're hungry. They've been having a hard time this year. Gotta take care of the creatures in the backyard. They'll help you out someday. Got dark outside. I gotta add some more light. There's our corn. <laughs> Look at how good that corn looks. Oh yeah. We're gonna have some good corn with that chicken. Let me move these two pieces out of the way here. We'll get this one. We'll get this one out of here undone. Oh, yeah. Get that off of there. Oh, and that look good. That's some good corn right there. Just left-handed corn. I get to shuck it left-handed. Wait, no. There we go. We just went right-handed. <laughs> oh, I can see the corn in there. Oh, come on out. Corn, where are you? There you are. There you are. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Doesn't that corn look good? Some wonderful corn. Let's break that stalk off of there. Get that head of silk off the end of that corn. Oh, that's some yellow corn right there. Had you all ever seen a beautiful sight? Look at that. That's 
just get that corn off there. Okay, I'll get all that silk out of that fry pan because, you know, we have silk kids everywhere. <laughs> we, don't, we don't need that in the fry pan. Here's one, here's the next one. Look at that. Doesn't that look good? This reminds me of when my mom and dad would be cooking corn. We'd help them shuck the corn. That night we'd have one for corn on the car. Look how good that looks. Just get that out there. Get that corn silk out of there. <laughs> you get that corn silk down in there, you'd be flossing your teeth with that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was good. That was good. Okay, now we got one more, and this one here, you know who this one's for, this is for the crow, because <laughs> you can't have fried chicken without corn on the cob, it just don't work like that, so that crow, and a friend in the backyard is going to have to get some of this corn on the cob too but you know I want two pieces because they are taking two pieces of my chicken away from me <laughs> so I think that's an even trade <laughs> all right let's break that stock off of it got the stock gone oh yeah there's that yellow corn that's a good sweet corn right there too let's get that off of there how easy that is. Let's move that out of that fry pan there. Get that corn silk off of there. That corn silk gets everywhere, don't it? It sure does. That sure does, but that's some good stuff right there. Get these up out of the way here. Whoa, look at that. It even got outside the fry pan over here. <laughs> that corn silk. You shucking corn, that gets everywhere. You spend two or three days trying to clean up your house after shucking corn. <laughs> okay, there we go. That's enough of that. We'll leave the rest of that on there. I used up all of my oil for frying that chicken but I got some of this right here this mazola corn oil I think we'll try that out right there and see how that goes put a little fire underneath of there yep yeah, just a scoshy bit Charlie. we'll put some oil down on these ears of corn we just shucked. That's plenty right there. Let me set this over here. That's that Mazola corn oil. If I recall correctly, I remember my mother using some of this Mazola. It's got to be some good stuff right there. You know, if your mom used it, it has to be good. Yeah, look at that. Okay, we're gonna let these ears of corn get back here. Don't be squirrely. <laughs> One keeps wanting to run off. <laughs> Stay with your friends. We're gonna let these ears of corn right here cook on the four sides. So it's gonna be a little bit. Let those cook on the four sides. After this, we give one to the crows with those two pieces of fried chicken. 
two of these for us. I think we'll be good to go. Ah, we'll come back in a little bit. We'll move these around. So we get them cooked on all four sides. We'll see you in a little bit. Let's get this corn moved around a little bit in that oil. There you go. Oh yeah. Come back here. Stay with your friends. Okay. Let that cook on that side for a little bit. Now when we get all four sides cooked there, we'll put those with the chickens. And then uh, we'll have some good eats. Be patient now. We'll get there. We'll see you in a little bit. <laughs> Hear that oil in there popping. Oh yeah. Look at that. We're starting to turn brown. Yeah, let's get that corn moved around in there. Look at that. That's gonna be some good corn with that fish. That's gonna be some good corn with that fish. Look at that, see that right there? Starting to brown up there. Look at this over here. Starting to brown up. Oh yeah, let's get this one here in the middle of the fire. Get that one to cooking too. Don't be rolling around now. <laughs> Come on, you're all right. There we go. There we go. That's going to be some good corn right there. Oh yeah, get you cooking on the other side there. We're near about done. We can go eat. Just got to get this corn cooked up right here. Look how nice that looks. I've already given the crows or two pieces of chicken. And uh, I'm going to give them one of these pieces of corn right here. Let me bring that chicken over here so y'all can look at it. Wonderful chicken. Wonderful chicken. Look at that right there. Had y'all ever seen any better chicken than that? <laughs> now we had five. Now we're down to three. <laughs> You gotta take care of them critters in the backyard. They'd be all right for you. <laughs> and they're gonna get one of these pieces of corn on the cob here. I'm not sure which one yet. I gotta pick out the best one for them. Whichever one they like. You always gotta take care of those critters in the backyard. Okay, we're going to let this cook here on that one side for a little bit. Let that cook on that one side for a little bit. You can hear that oil in there popping. Ain't that some good? That's some good eats right there. Turn that fire up just a hair. Let's try 
freshen it up just a hair. I'm hungry. I can't be waiting around for this corn. I gotta get up and go to work tomorrow.